I'm Colors, and I'm here to, today to talk about how to put together the body parts of the gnome. Um, yesterday I did the the whole gnome, putting it all together, and uh, the day before I did the shoes, and today we're going to do the how to make the sleeves and the body, and the nose and the hands, a couple tips in there. And uh, so we're going to start with... Um, the sleeves and the body, how we use uh, the Dollar, Dollar Tree socks that are pretty long to do the body and the sleeves with this one pair of socks. And you just buy them like, they'll look like that when you get to the store, hang it up. So you wanna cut, when you do the body and the sleeves, uh, you wanna cut the top part off that we're gonna use for the sleeves, right like that. And this will be the bottom part for the body. So we have this tall part of the socks that we just cut off that we're gonna to use to do the two sleeves. And we have the bottom part that we're gonna to use to put inside one another to make the body because if you don't double layer this body, You'll be able to see the stuffing right through the fabric. So just double layer it like that, put them together like that. Then you want to put some flat marbles that you can buy at the Dollar Tree in the bottom. This is going to make your body. The flat marbles will weigh it down so you can pounce it and make it stand up. I think I tried to count how many it took about to put in there about that many. Um, I think it's about 30 or something like that. Then you want to fill it with stuffing and really pack it full because you want the bottom to be as wide as you can get it um, just so it'll fit nicely over the top of the shoes. I had the made the shoe video like I said um, day before yesterday, I think it was that we put the shoe video on. It shows you how to make the shoes. So I'm not going to go over the shoe video again. Um, you could go to, to that video and, and watch that. So now I'm just, now that I've got it filled with the stuffing, I'm going to, um, close it up with a rubber band. Try that again. Close it right up with a rubber band. And then you take your scissors and cut it off. Maybe it'll leave about a half inch. And that's what your body will look like. So there you have the body. Pretty easy to do. And the next thing we're gonna do is make a nose, which I just take a um, five by five, it's about a five by five white felt and not too big of a piece of stuffing. Put that right in the middle there. Push it up with your thumb. And then I like to use the yellow rubber band. I don't want it to be stand out too much. <clears throat> Looks kind of like a ghost. You want to trim off as much as you can off the bottom there. And then to color it, you just want to take some blush. This is a special one I bought just for my noses and a brush and go like that. And you can do it however light or dark you want to do it. And I'll show you a little bit uh, how you set that. That looks cute. So, easy way to do that. Now, the sleeves we'll do next. Um, 
I'm kind of doing it in the order that I put them on the, I put it together, how I put it together. So the sleeves, I just take the long top of the sock and <clears throat> take the, the two different pieces that you have, the long pieces, and you want to pull that down inside of it, top down into the bottom. So it's like that. <clears throat> What's going to happen is, is you're going to be making, you're going to be using this, the green band at the bottom, which is really the top of the sock, but we're going to use it as a cuff of the gnome sleeve. So that's how it is. That's what they're going to look like after you get them folded inside yourself. And then you want to get just a slight piece of stuffing, nothing very much, because you don't want them to look real muscly. That might even be too much. Just a slight piece. It's real easy to put in there. In there like that. And it's just, just enough to be about that fluffy. And then you wanna use a green rubber band to go over the cuff just a couple of times because you don't want it to be too thin at the wrist. So just do that a couple of times there. Looks like that. And then the top, I use a black rubber band, which is, you're not gonna see that one anyway, but I always use a black rubber band anyway. So, you bunch that up and do that top part. Now, when you watch the video of putting it all together, you'll see all these exact pieces, putting the St. Patrick's Day gnome together. And that's how you make the arm. So the next thing I was going to go to where, uh, show you how to do the hands. You just do them the same way as you did the nose. Maybe just a touch smaller. You just wanna take a five by five square piece of neon green felt is what I'm using for mine anyway. Put them right up there. Use a green rubber band. Take it around there. <clears throat> then cut it off. This is going to be glued right inside that cuff of that sleeve. So you really don't want any extra on there. You want to cut them off about like that for the little hands. And then for the beard, the beard we want to look like this. That's the back of it. How we accomplish that is you take a little piece of, of the orange shag fur. And when I ordered it from Amazon, this is what I got. This great big piece of the orange fur. I think that'll last me quite a long time. And I just cut out, you know, I didn't measure this, but I just kind of eyeball it. It's probably about four by five. I just wanted to take the time to say that when you cut the hair, the fur, to make the beard, you want to just kind of flop it over like that and see where it naturally falls. And then take your scissors and cut right down like that, so that you'll have a natural fall on the hair and rather than have it just be cut off blunt, as you can understand what I'm trying to say there. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your, your beard piece that you've cut off and you wanna fold it right in half, cut it about an inch, um, 
so to fit up in and around that nose. And then on the bottom, I take and I fold the little corners in and I just tuck them in there and glue them in there a little bit so it'll be a nice round shape like this on the bottom. You see how that's done like that? Just tuck them in like that. And I find that they, and then it's what you wanna do is you wanna shape the mustache into it. I kind of bring the, the beard part around and the, the mustache into it. A little bit of a mess there. That stops doing that after you've worked with it a few minutes. Um, and then is what I do is I, I'll do this once the gnome is put together. I take a heavy, heavy uh, finishing hairspray, strong super hold, and I spray the beard after it's on the gnome. I'm kind of careful so I don't get it all over the gnome. And then I shape it the way that I want it. So your nose is going to be coming through here and you're going to have your mustache and your, your beard all nicely shaped. And then what it does too is it sets the blush that you have on the nose because the overspray hits the nose. So then it sets everything in that area nicely. Um, and then you just go over it how you want it shaped. Like you can see on this gnome how he ends up being shaped. He's got hairspray on. So that's that. Now the hat I bought at Dollar Tree. And uh, the shoes we made using the little uh, pot of gold pots. And there's another video that's just exclusively to show you how to make these shoes that I put out a couple days ago. And then the last thing you have to do is put together the, the pot that um, it'll show you how, it'll show you in the putting it together video. Um, attaching this pot you want to put it fill it with stuffing and uh pretty good with stuffing there and that is what i found that i find that the best thing to do with the coins is you're wanting to hide the stuffing in the pot hide your mechanics you don't want the stuffing to show so the first thing i do is go around and do that I put glue on each coin and glue them in place to hide the stuffing, something like that. And then maybe add a couple more after you get it like that. That only took like four. Then add a couple more at the top and glue them about like that. And it's pretty, pretty easy to do the pot of gold. And I think that's it, everything. If you have any questions or comments, uh, let me know. And uh, you can you can check out the video that shows how to put all these together after you get them made. I like to make them ahead of time, all the pieces and then put the gnome together. Um, sometimes I'll make enough for three gnomes and then put all the gnomes together at the same time. But everything I got pretty much came from the Dollar Tree, except for like the fur I ordered from Amazon and the felt I get from Joanne Fabrics. The stuffing, I wanted to make mention that um, just buy a $3 pillow at Walmart and use the stuffing out of that. It's so much cheaper than paying $12 for a bag of it in the fabric department. It's, it's $3, I think it's $2.97 at Walmart. And I just use those. And uh, but don't forget your rubber bands at um, Dollar Tree. You get all your different colored rubber bands. Make yourself a little batch of those up. Uh, there's certain colors of rubber bands that, you know, at the bottom of the cuffs, I showed you the green. You want to make sure you use green. When you put the pot of gold um, 
pot on his right sleeve. You use a green rubber band for that too. So you get that at the Dollar Tree. And you get these flat marbles to go on the bottom of his body. Uh, you get a pa little package of them for a dollar at Dollar Tree. So that ought to do it. Um, the blush, the blush for the nose, something also you can get at Dollar Tree. And the hair, strong hairspray, you can get that anywhere you want to. I got mine at Sally's. Um, it's just a generic, really strong, super cold hairspray. So, and the coins, Dollar Tree. So, have a good day. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any more questions. And uh, don't forget to like. Okay.